Rock legend Jimi Hendrix tragically passed away in September 1970 at just 27, becoming a member of the infamous 27 Club alongside Kurt Cobain, Janis Joplin, and Amy Winehouse. Officially, he asphyxiated on his vomit due to an overdose of sleeping pills. But what really happened that night? On the night of his death, Hendrix and his girlfriend Monica Danneman spent the evening drinking and smoking at a party in Notting Hill. Leaving the party around 3 a.m., they went back to Danneman's apartment. Hendrix, struggling with insomnia, had taken an amphetamine. Further hindering his sleep, Danneman recalled he requested one of her sleeping pills, but she declined to provide it. On September 18, Danneman discovered Hendrix unconscious, vomit-covered. Paramedics were called, but upon reaching the hospital, Hendrix was blue, pulseless, with a blocked airway extending to his lungs, leading to his tragic demise. Jimi Hendrix's death was officially deemed accidental due to asphyxiation from a sleeping pill overdose. However, some speculate it was suicide.